Come on, take a look around at a world. In need. And everywhere you look, I know you're gonna see broken hearts, broken hearts, and a lot of broken dreams. dreams. But we get to be the hands and feet. Two friends and family. Next door neighbors. We can even show a little kindness to a stranger. Jesus said it love the least of these. And he would even help us learn to love our enemies. Even when the sun's not shining. Today is June 7th. This is your Sunday School lesson. Um, I hope you enjoyed that song. It really is love that makes the world go round. And there's a lot of reasons to be troubled right now. But um, I don't want you to worry. Your church family is here for you. And um, we will do what we can to make the world a better place. That's what we have to do while we're here. Um, first of all, I want to make sure that you have a communion space because we're celebrating communion together as a family this morning um, during the online church service. And then I have another announcement. If you would like to be a part of the youth takeover service, which is taking place next Sunday, June 14th, there is a special Zoom meeting taking place this afternoon at 5 p.m. Um, online with Marcus LaPratt and some of our youth friends, 6th through 12th graders. So if that's something you'd like to be a part of and you have time in your schedule to fit that in, please reach out to either myself or Marcus and we'll make sure to get you the login information so you can take part in that. It should be fun. Um, and then lastly, we are still working on VBS for this summer. So um, stay tuned for those announcements. Um, and then lastly, congratulations to all our seniors. Um, I think we have six or seven seniors in our congregation, and we are so happy for you. So congratulations to the class of 2020, um, and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Um, the lesson for today is the Tower of Babel. That's what Pastor Anderson is teaching the adults about um, in the live stream of our church service today. So you are going to learn about that as well. So what follows is a movie and then a quiz that you guys told me that you love. So I hope you have a great Sunday. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care of your families. I hope you're all well. I miss you, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. This is the story of the Tower of Babel. A long time ago, everyone in the world spoke the same language. Since they all spoke the same language, the people decided to get together to build something big. Stand up if you think they decided to build a big tower. 
sit down if you think they've decided to build an amusement park. The people decided to build a giant tower. They wanted the tower to be super tall. Stand up if you think they wanted it to reach Jupiter. Sit down if you think they wanted it to reach the heavens. The people wanted the tower to reach all the way up to the heavens. They wanted the entire world to see this tower and how great they were. As the people built the tower, it became taller and taller and they started to brag. Look how great we are, they said. Look how tall our tower is. What did God think about that tall tower? Stand up if you think he liked the tower. Sit down if you think he was not happy about the tower. God was not happy about the tower. It was like the people thought they were better than God. To stop the people from building the tower, what did God do? Stand up if you think he took away the bricks and the supplies. Sit down if you think he mixed up all the languages. That's right, God mixed up all the people's languages. Since they couldn't understand each other anymore, they had to stop building the tower. The people left their tower and they traveled across the whole world. And that's why people speak so many different languages. Once the tower was abandoned, it was called the Tower of Babel. God wants us to understand that we will always need him and we will never be as powerful as he is.